Well, tonight we're here with one of the Dynamo girlfriends. Your name? Catherine. And you're the girlfriend of which player? Andre Hayno. So how do you meet Andrew? Um, we met in Montreal. We both come from Montreal, Canada. And we met, actually I worked at the same restaurant as his brother. And one day he came in with his family to eat. And I saw him and he saw me and that was it. Was he a professional play, soccer player when you met him? Um, at that point, he wasn't professional. He was an amateur, amateur player for the Montreal Impact, uh, but I did not know that he was. Um, and I really didn't know much about soccer at that point. So what do you do when you come to the games? Um, when I come to the games, me and the other wives usually meet up on the other side behind the players bench and sometimes we'll catch up a bit, talk and play with the babies because there's a lot of them right now. Um, but I try to watch the game a lot too because uh, I like to support my men. And what do you do when there's an away game? Where do you watch it? Do you watch it? Uh, usually I'll try to watch it at home uh, because we usually have the channel that we can watch it at. and. Um, I mean, if not, then I try to go out and go to uh, the viewing parties, and uh, but I always watch it, that's for sure. Do you like it here in Houston? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's different. I mean, it's fine. It's good because for we used to live in the Czech Republic, so I couldn't speak the language and I couldn't study. And so now, finally, I'm in school again, and I can actually talk to people. and speak the language so it's good but the heat is really hard to get used to uh, we're not used to that and it's like torture so how do you feel about all this traveling I mean you've been in Czech Republic Canada and now Houston maybe there's another city afterwards how do you feel about that I like it I I feel like I get like ang antsy when we're in the same place for too long like I'm like okay when are we moving next it's good I'm used to it now we moved every six months in the Czech Republic before and so now we moved here and every six months we change apartments <laughs> so it's it's good I like it it's fun and I see a ring on your hand can you tell us a little bit about that um yeah we're engaged uh, we got engaged at the end of May and he's putting down the camera uh, oh okay <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you filming? My legs. <laughs> so yeah, um, I mean, he's a pretty simple guy, uh, not the most romantic, so he didn't want me to notice anything. If he would have tried, I would have known something was coming up. So we were just coming back from a walk with our dog and he got down on one knee, almost fell over, grabbed the wrong hand and then I had to switch it and then he was like mumbling and then that was it, so yeah. So what else can you tell us about him that nobody else knows before, only you? Um, he's a really goofy guy, like he loves to joke around. Um, his best friends are his brothers and they're so close and they just joke around so much when they're together, it's really funny to see. And I mean, he's not a serious person, he's like a kid and he always says, like he's never gonna leave Neverland, like in Peter Pan, when he's in Neverland, you never grow up. So he's a kid at heart and um, he loves soccer. He watches it all the time, that's for sure. But he loves to cook as well. And that's like his second favorite thing. He cooks for me every meal. <laughs> so I'm really lazy. He cooks for me all the time. He's really good. Well, thank you, Catherine, and congratulations. Thank you very much.